Hey, Bapper here again. Now, before I get started, there'll be profanity in the video. So, those who are just stumbling on my, on my channel, you've been warned, especially if you've got small children in the room, that you need to pause and get them out of the room. When those who are sub to me, you, I don't even need to tell you because you know the drill. Well, as you can see, I have a picture of um, the late Dr. Francis Chris Welsing, which I, I'll say, may she rest in power, and it's been... I think it's going to be like either a couple of years or now I think I think now 3 years since she passed since she passed away. Yeah. I know, but the reason why I'm bringing the, bringing her up because all I can say is she was on point with a lot of things she has said. It's funny I kind of had a I had to bring her up when I was talking about Mark Lamont Hill attacking her and shitting on her because quote unquote, quote unquote saying she was quote unquote homophobic and all that shit like because you know she was calling out you know white supremacists that emasculate that emasculate black men you know and mass it's especially like in, especially in her book in the isis papers and she was very on point you know you know that she, you know but it's just there was a lot of things she was very on point about and it and especially with the story of what just recently happened it proves it proves a point and all i can just say is I'm going to go off not only about the situation that tr that happened, but I'm also going to go off on the on the dumbasses. I mean, I know there's like dumbasses on the, outside the community that are going to try and rationalize it, but the worst part is the ones who are trying to make fucking excuses, are sadly, some, <laughs> some of the women in our, in our community who are just nothing but a waste of fucking melanin. Well, so... I'll get started. As you can see, the story went viral. Black mother pulls her son from preschool after teacher allows him to parade around in a dress. So, in case you didn't know, there's um the Kansas mother is demanding answers after her son was was allowed to wear a dress while like was was allowed to wear a dress while playing quote unquote dress up at his preschool. Was, was allegedly allowed well, of what they say. The Kayla Bedford, a stay-at-home mom in Wichita, withdrew her two-year-old son from the private Bethany Early Child Ch Childhood Center. So if you need to call that school, I'll highlight it for you. This is the name of the school that was promoting fuckery, trying to emasculate a black child. Yeah, just remember the name. I'll highlight it for you. This week, after her girlfriend spotted the little boy parading, parading around in the dress, in a dress... Parading, okay, a little parading around the classroom in a dress. I'm sorry, I'm tongue twisted. Bedford 24 says she was dropping her child off at the, that morning. Her girlfriend turned to look and saw Zach putting on a dress in the play area. She came back to the classroom and took off the dress, saying, "We don't do this." And says, "Is it in front of the teacher?" And just, and of course, and she says, "I am a lesbian," and that's the kicker. The mom's a lesbian, this is what she says, but I don't push my son in any direction. Whatever he d decides to do or wear in the future is his decision. I applaud the mother. I applaud her. When the mother arrived to pick up the son later that day, she said she saw her son in the classroom putting on the dress again as his teacher stood over him. So Bedford said she pulled the teacher aside and explained that she, she doesn't allow it to do this. this now they told her twice twice not to do this crap then she just left and said oh he's only two bedford records so upset so the upset mother called called her father to meet her to meet her at the christian private school and with a cell phone camera rolling malcolm bedford bedford confirmed the two the the, te the two-year-old teacher allowing him to put on a dress and there's a video clip you can watch and oh yeah here's the ganado looking bitch yeah I just want you to get a very good look. So you can just pause. Just remember what this bitch looks like. And I will say this. Keep your children, especially black children, away from this demonic bitch. And let me show a picture of the grandfather who confronted this this um, this um demon. All right, I'm sorry. It's taking a wee bit to load. Yep, here's the grandfather. And I applaud him. You can, you can watch the video. You're going to be happy as a clam to see what he does when he confronts this bitch. <clears throat> so... So of course, and of course you could, that's the conversation that, um, like these are the quotes of what the grandpa said. So if you want to watch the video, I can only go for 10 minutes. Okay. So, so he says in his cell phone camera that the teacher, 
So he says, says in the cam, cam, his cell phone camera while he's rolling about, about discussing about, you know, she made four, making her his, his grandson a wear dress. He says, my daughter called and said that she had an issue with my grandson being in a dress. He began. And we said, we don't do that transgender thing. So the teacher, the teacher who, the teacher instructs a fluss, instructs a flustered grant. So of course the teacher goes on to talk about, oh, um, you need to speak to the director director and so oh i'm so sorry i don't know why it does that so in the video he's heard so he's um so he's not he's just outraged but you can hear that um that uh he's uh, he's outraged and condemning the teacher for encouraging the boy to wear a dress so then the teacher replies he's too says the same bullshit and he says i don't appreciate it he shoots back explaining that this is the second day the child has been allowed to wear a dress at school. I'm and, she, and he says, I'm I'm not done talking with you. I'm letting you know the next time you put any kid in a dress, I, we're making you go viral. So if you should, and it should be noted that Zach, according to Bedford's girl, girlfriend, was seen putting on a dress, dress on himself with no help from the teacher, but still she was encouraging it. And here's the kicker part. Here's the kicker. So I'm sorry. This keeps like I don't know why it's what it did what it did like why it keeps doing that. So, so the teacher admonishes the grandfather for his. So he she gets mad saying I don't like your tone, but of course the incident spark, sparked a murder out of response from social media. He said these people should not be around kids. This tra transgender madness is child abuse. One YouTuber commented, and then they said based on bl the black guy is better than me. I said I would have wanted to strangle that teacher right then and there in front of in front of the kids. And, then, and another critic says that brainwashing is out of control. And a statement of the representative, the school goes and puts this bullsh bullshit statement. I'll let you fucking read it. And there's a video clip that you can go and watch this whole thing transpire. But I mean, but that t and then what, like, the, here's the part where I said I was going to go on, like, the dumbasses that sadly. I know, yes, you talk about, oh, we need to hold black men accountable when they def defend fuckery from white supremacists. Well, guess what? I'm going to hold up also black, the black, some of these dumbass black women who, who, who are trying to rationalize it. And sadly, sadly, I mean, these are buck dancing, these are buck dancing fools. Like, these are your bad wenches. That, let me just call it for what the fuck it is. Because it's funny, you talk about, oh, you can't stand white, these, uh, these white feminists and these white supremacists, but yet you still be caping for the, they still be caping for these motherfuckers. I'm not talking about Dr. Francis Cress Welsing because she was on point, but yet these same bad wenches were shitting on our sister, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing because she was on point on a whole lot of shit. Same with Sister, Sh sister Sh Shazad Ali. So, and mind you, and they were trying to say like, oh, the grandpa was wrong, the grandpa was wrong. But mind you, the mother, the mother told the teacher twice, and mind you, and she's a lesbian, you're not going to put my son in no fucking dress. I don't care if he's two years old. And she says, she's on, is it when he's old enough to make his own decisions, then she's going to leave it alone. Okay? I know you know what, and now let me get to this Ganado bitch. Okay, hold on. Let's see where it is. I will say this though. Shout out to the grandfather. Now, and you know what? And to you dumbasses that were trying your best. Let me let it load. Let me they say why you defend scum like this? This is the same heifers that be calling on the on the police on your on your fucking ass for bullshit reasons. These are the same ones that be calling the police on a an eight on an eight year old girl trying to sell water and would and try to pull a Carolyn Bryant Bryant and try to pull an Emmett Till on other black children. And you wanna defend these motherfuckers. Shame the fuck on you. And especially shame on this bitch. And I will say, shout out to the grandfather, and shout out to the mother, and I will say, they just said everybody need to need, need to sue that school, shut that school down, and and keep your can keep your children, especially black children, especially black boys, away from this demon. And sadly, there's a lot of demons like that. You got to keep them a fuck away from them, and just homeschool your kids from now on. That's my two cents. I'm out.